Hey everybody, Phil back again, replicas of the past. I wanted to do a quick video on this guy. This is the 116 scale John Deere 4320 replica play. If you look at my archives, I did a video on one earlier in the year, but it's one I customized. I went back and got one. It's straight out of the box. I wanted to do a video on it. This is the box, pretty standard fare box, but they're neat. I think I like how they do the boxes on these myself. Um, there's a nice picture of the actual tractor. Kind of a nice picture, excuse me. The real tractor on the box, there's your plastic shell. Course 2023 there. Pretty neat tractor. Let's uh, move on to the store to show the John Deere 4320. All right, everybody, here it is. That 116 scale Ertl John Deere 4320 replica play line. To me, this is like the old school, we called them shelf models back in the day in the 80s and 90s, especially 2000s, because they were pretty much made for and able to be played with if you wanted. They weren't like the collector editions and some of the other stuff they did. These are pretty cool little replicas though nonetheless. Um, if you, like I said in my archives, if you look, there is a video of the one I customized. I actually ended up selling it um, very recently and I uh, went ahead and rebought another one. This is the last one my dealer had. I don't know if that's it. I don't know if they're stopping making them, but I thought to myself, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this thing while it's there. Pretty neat tractors, 20, part of the 20 series, of course. John, uh, from TractorData.com, John Deere 4320, produced between 1971 through 72. New generation series row crop tractor. previous tractor in this series was a 4020 and the next tractor in this series was a 4620. The comparable tractor in the next series to this is the 4430. Manufacturer John Deere, Waterloo, Iowa. Total built uh, 21485 Damn, in two years they built a lot of those. Original price $12,000 in 1972. It says the John Deere 4320 might be called a 4020 with a turbocharged engine, although both engines and final drives received upgrades. The 4320 was created to fill a horsepower gap in the Deere lineup between the 4020 and the 4520 slash 4620. PTO tested 116.5 horsepower. Drawbar tested 101.7. It was offered in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, looks like. Picture of tractor on tractor data. Pretty neat little replica here. Um, like I said, this is straight out of the box. Nothing. I did nothing to it. Not like the customized one I did. There's your classic drawbar that will take any uh, uh, implement pretty much. There's a driver's station, does have some little levers here on the right hand side, control levers, probably I'm guessing for the hydraulics and such. There are inserted lights here, it's hard to see them in the fender because they are black. I don't know why they didn't paint them white or something, but inserted uh, work lights there. This is all right out of the box as I said, and there's your muffler. Neat little tractor, nonetheless. The whole thing's pretty much die cast, too, by the way. Sometimes they have a lot of plastic elements, but as far as the actual chassis of the tractor, this is all die cast. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Tires, six around tires are all rubber. No spacing on the rear doors, which I think they should always try to do that if possible. The wheels on the rear are plastic, of course. John, classic looking John Deere. Front tires are three ribs. Front wheel, plastic. It's a pretty neat little tractor. I'm glad I went back and got one. Since I sold that uh, custom, 
I knew I would grab one of these again and probably just keep it as is. It's pretty neat. All right, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. Earl 116 scale John Deere 4320. Pretty classic John, part of the 20 series tractors. Pretty neat. As I as it said on tractor, that it fill a gap between the 4020 to the 45 and 4620s as far as the power uh, need. It's pretty neat. They kind of came back and did that. I thought it's pretty cool. All right, everyone, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everyone that always tunes in. And get rid of this box; it keeps catching. This is Phil for Up Because of the Past. You all have a blessed day, and we'll talk again soon.